double loop wire bending. Right here we're going to make a double wire bail. So the loop is made twice and then twisted. I'm using a 20 gauge simple wire just for practice and a regular old color pencil I like to use because that way it has a nice smooth surface where a typical pencil has an octagonal shape. Step number one, you're gonna place your wire on the pencil and bend it around tightly, as tightly as you can. So now you've got your complete crisscross. Some people like to make a single wire bail and you could start right here with making it twist. But we're gonna go around a second time which just creates a little accent to the look. And once you reach your complete circle and your wires have now crossed and you can see that there are three in a row, it's time to twist. So from here, I'm gonna twist this way just so that you can see that the wire is parallel with one another. And here, I'm gonna start the twisting motion. So I'm gonna hold the pencil very still and twist at least a two full, two full twist, trying to keep these wires spread so that they don't um, twist unevenly. All right, so that was three full twists, which creates a long neck before your pendant. So it's no, not recommended to do more than that. When I take this off, you may have to do just a little bit of shaping to your liking. You can press these two together to make them tight or you can split them apart to give it a different look, depending on your choice. And from there, you'll go to wrapping items such as glass, rocks, beads,